My name is Sam Beard and I'm here with Susan Ecker to discuss her latest exhibition, Subject Studio, which you can see here at the Collie Art Gallery. Susan Ecker and I have collaborated on several exhibitions, each with a unique subject, this one about the studio. So I'd like to begin by asking Susan, why the studio? Why this subject? Why not, Sam? True, that's absolutely a very good point right there. <laughs> This studio is really the embodiment of the mind of the painter. It is the place in which the work happens, the activity we call painting, the, the verb of painting. Mm. So it's, it's sort of logical if you want to talk about the development of the work of the painter to say that the subject is the studio because mm. that's where the process occurs. What is important to the painter is the process and the verb painting, not the noun painting. So when did it become apparent to you that you were going to explore this subject in such a large number of works? I'm not sure that I did, that that ever happened exactly the way you're describing it. I think I've always sort of explored it from time to time. Then there was a fairly recent revisiting of it that was intriguing. And there seemed to be a few pieces that had potential of relating in an interesting way. Then thinking, well, what happens if this is put together as a whole idea? Mm. You know, it sort of happens. It tells you it wants to be heard mm. or seen or however it is. Mm. You, you all of a sudden find yourself in this relationship with the subject. There are paintings from many years ago, there's paintings that are very recent, quite a range uh, of your career represented in the show. What's it like seeing a long span of time in one show? I that, understand what you're saying, yeah. I'm not sure really exactly how to answer it because yeah. there are potentially a lot of answers to yeah. that, some of which are true. Yeah. <laughs> When listening to you ask the question, my first thing is, what it tells me is there's not enough time. Mm. You know, I've just scratched the surface and I'm many years into doing it and there's so much more I want to do and need to do. That's something that really struck me about seeing all these works from different times, made in different places, grouped in this one show. All of that became really not particularly apparent in some ways. What was really apparent to me is that all the work is from, you know, one pair of eyes, one pair of hands, one mind. That's right. That in the end is all there is. Yeah. I think it's more curious for other people than it is for me to mm. see that. I mean, it is my mind, my eyes, my hands, so... I know you work on a number of paintings at one time. What was it like there being a sculpture in the mix? Messy. Yes. <laughs> you know, actually it was distracting in the space to some extent. I mean, I was found myself being torn on some days of wanting to work on one when I thought I should work on the other. But that's not really the question you're asking. The real question is, why bother doing the sculpture in the midst of the paintings? And that's a really interesting thing to think about because one, I don't think it's unique to me. I think there are always moments when an idea is very strong in your mind and you want to explore it in more than one form. And it's more similar, the activity of painting and sculpting are more closely aligned than I think I thought they were when I was much younger, where I thought of them as being very different. They're not, because I think I feel with my eyes and hands creating the form in the painting in much the same way that I feel it with sculpture. So these sculptures, prints, paintings, are of studios familiar to you. And I know memory is really important to your way of, I guess, thinking about your work or about images. And also the muse as an allegorical figure appears in some way in this work. What does the muse mean to you as a painter? 
That's interesting because you, that question, you started to ask me about memory and then you skipped to the muse or the allegory of the muse and asked me what that meant. And it's pretty interesting, that connection, because if I'm not mistaken, the muses, in the sense of the Greek thinking about the muses, the muses were the offspring of memory, menominee, or however that is, and another, and that there is a connection between muse and memory in that mythical sense. But there is definitely, in reality, I think a connection between muse and memory. Because if muse is the incarnation of the challenge or the experience of the painter, or the conflict and resolution of conflict with the painter, which is how it's often used, the muse was there in a positive way, the muse was there in a negative way. It's the memory of the image that you are pulling at to make the painting work. And so it depicts in some way, in, in some, or it makes tangible in some way, this experience of or bringing the memory out, I guess. It's pulling the memory out from wherever it's stored and making it work visibly on the surface. And if you really, if, you, if you're honorable, the muse has to be credited with the success, not just blamed for the failure. I mean, so you have to be fair. It's always a she, by the way. Well, that was, that's my next question. Yeah, well, I know, because, you know, I can tell by the, by the way you look that that was going to be a nice question. So, so that is an interesting point, that in the paintings with uh, male painters or sculptors, there is a muse figure as well, a female muse. And then in the paintings with uh, female figures, perhaps they're, painters, perhaps they're also muses, I'm not sure, but, or perhaps they're both. Perhaps they are, Sam. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but that's, a, that's an interesting sort of presence in one and absence in the other. What's, what's happening there? Oh boy, do I want to play with this question. <laughs> <laughs> do I want to have a good time with this question? I can answer you back, why is the muse a woman? Mm. I'm sure she is. Doesn't seem that I'm the only one who thinks that. <laughs> A lot of answers would be very feminist answers. All would be accurate. I mean, I think a really less playful answer would be that historically most of the painters that we know about and talk about were men who talked about their muses, who were either totally mythical or maybe a real person. We didn't have as much experience with women painters and how they described that inspiration. So we don't have that same mythology in some ways. Or we could just say women have it within them to do that and don't need it. I think that's the right answer. <laughs>